The Da Vinci allows us to do our operations with much more precision. The instrumentation is much more precise, it's much more sophisticated, and uh, the optics and the ability to, to visualize structures is, is much better. I think it's really been shown very well with the, with the uh, robotic prostatectomies, but even with our uh, general surgical procedures, uh, specifically with the uh, procedures we do for gastroesophageal reflux disease, that uh, we can do that operation um, with much more precision and much more accurately, and, and I think even easier than, than we can do it uh, with our standard laparoscopic equipment. I think the, the two main advantages and what I tell our patients is that um, I can see things better, and part of the reason for that is that there's a camera for each eye, both the right and left eye. So I actually have three dimension. I can actually have depth perception, which you don't get with laparoscopic equipment because it's two, two dimension. And so I think that gives us some added uh, value or some added abilities um, that we wouldn't normally have, especially uh, when we're, for example, doing uh, esophageal work where we're up inside the chest, uh, which is quite a distance, and it really helps to have a perspective of, of the relationship of structures. And then also, and then the, probably the most important part uh, are the, of the technology is that, that these instruments um, are articulated, meaning that they have wrists on them. And so they can move in 360 degrees, not only in one axis, but in two axes, so that um, we can move around structures, we can pull structures uh, uh, in different angles that allow us to see things better and more precisely. There is at least w one group of procedures that we cannot do um, with the laparoscope, and that's for the patients we treat with esophageal cancer. Um, when you have patients with esophageal cancer, the cancer involving the, the lower part of the esophagus, we generally have to take out most of the esophagus. And the only way to do that, because the esophagus is in the chest and the stomach is in the abdomen, so we have to be able to operate in both body cavities, both inside the abdomen where the, where the stomach is and also in the chest. We can do that with the uh, da Vinci technology. We could not do that before with um, the, tech, the laparoscopic technology. Before, we would have to make separate incisions in the chest and in the abdomen, which causes increased pain, uh, longer recovery, um, and also more complications associated with it. So I think there, at least that's one specific um, area that we can operate that we can now do with the da Vinci, uh, and specifically for esophageal cancer that we could not do uh, in the past with laparoscopic approaches. The amazing thing about this instrumentation is, is that it is not that difficult to use, at least for what we're doing. Now, if you talk about operations that haven't been done before or that certain specialties are not familiar with using laparoscopic, endoscopic um, technology, then it's a huge jump to go from open operations where you're using your hands to operations in which you're using instruments through little ports. It's a huge, huge jump and requires training and a lot of uh, practice and people helping you do these cases to make sure you, you get the learning without making mistakes and hurting patients. So, but for, for us and for my partners who, um, who are very experienced laparoscopic uh, surgeons who have been doing, using laparoscopic technology for 15 years, um, for us, it was, it was a relatively easy step to move to the robotic technology. It really was. It was not that difficult. We were very comfortable uh, doing these cases uh, in a very short period of time. The uh, presence of three dimension, of course, is, is great. It's, you don't have to relearn that. That's what your body's used to. So 99% so of the day, um, I'm looking at things in 3D. So you don't have to, that's not a problem. What, what is a, a, a um, a very uh, a different situation, though, is that we do not have any tactile sensation with the robot. We can't feel any, any um, tension. Uh, we can't tell how hard we're pulling on things other than by visual um, aspects of that. For example, when you first start using the, Ro the Da Vinci um, technology, you invariably um, will break sutures because you cannot feel how tight you're pulling them, pulling the sutures. But within a couple of cases, um, just a few times tying, for example, you will, you will be able, your body, your mind will be able to tell what the tension is by how it looks 
and how it, how it stretches out. And so you very quickly learn tactile sensation through your eyes and not through your fingers and your hands. So it's a very interesting process, but it, it is in, invariable that people pick that up very quickly. Uh, the aspect of the robot, which is a bit of a mis... Well, it's, it is a misnomer. There is, it is not a robot. I don't tell the machine what to do. I'm actually doing it. It's duplicative. It actually just duplicates everything I do with my hands sitting in a console. It's connected to cables and by computer enhancement. It's not a, a robot, but it's, it's kind of cute and, and people kind of catch you on. So I think that's why the terminology is used. Uh, the way we do these operations is exactly the same with the robotic technology. Uh, it's easier to do them, we're more precise, but the actual operation is the same operation. And so the recovery, because it's done through small incisions, just like the, um, the laparoscopic procedure, there really is, a, is a very little difference in the, in the recovery time or in what patient's uh, experience is as far as pain uh, and as far as getting back to work. So it's very much the same in that sense. It's just that I think we, I think the patients have a, a, a certain amount of confidence that they're getting the very best type of technology to do their operation. And I think that's, that's helpful for them psychologically. But, but I think as far as length of stay in the hospital, it's, it's very, very much, very much the same. I'm always surprised about patients and their knowledge. First of all, a lot of patients come in to see us because we do use the robot. Um, they they um, can find this in the, on the internet, so they're very, uh, very knowledgeable when they come in. And by and large, most patients would like to have things done in the best way possible. And if there's new technology, I think a lot of patients have confidence in the medical profession and in our technology that they think that the, the newer types of technology are the best way to go. And, and I think, um, and we've had a good experience here, a good experience with the Da Vinci for our patients. And so that, that gets around too, and patients, uh, I know that we do a lot of uh, da Vinci procedures here.